Hello everybody, uh, welcome to my milestone presentation for level design and also welcome to my Steam page. Now the reason why we're at my Steam page is because I just uploaded Killing Forest, my custom map for Killing Floor 2, onto the workshop. However, it is only available to myself and admins, of course. So I did this because it's still being tested and it is not yet ready for a public release. So with this uh, information being shared, let's uh, show you the file, the video. So um, this is my Killing Forest map right here. As you can see, I've uh, photoshopped the image, the cover image to my liking with the branding saying Killing Forest and a map by Adbu uh, telling everybody that this is my map. So um, I did title it Killing Forest dash Forest Survival so people know that this is a survival map and once we click on it as the user we instantly see the images that are within the map. So I took a lot of time to create these really nice screenshots of my map that illustrate uh, what is within the map and what the users will be uh, seeing. And we see the mill as well. We see all of the different uh, parts of the map that really stick out and will stick out to the player. Um, so we have a lot of nice high definition screenshots right here for the player to see if this is the type of map they would be interested in playing. And right here we do have tags on. This is tagged on as being a maps and a survival. And basically it's just telling everybody that this is a survival map essentially. And that anybody that uh, types in any of these tags will find this. And the file size is only five megabytes. I'm trying to understand how why it's such a small file size because usually uh, killing floor maps are much, much bigger, ranging from 100 megabytes to 500 megabytes. So um, I don't know if this is because I've used all of the assets that are in Killing Floor 2 in general because I have no uh, custom uh, imported assets. So I will definitely be doing a little bit of research and I will actually be having my friend uh, play test this map for me to see if all of the details and all of the um, map static meshes and whatnot show up on his end. Because for me, I did test it myself and everything worked flawlessly. So um, it's just a matter of testing it on a different user's computer and uh, seeing how that works. And all of my change notes will be in here once I apply any updates and so forth. Um, so here we go on with the description. So I start off by saying Killing Forest is a Killing Floor 2 Black Forest themed survival style map along with the logo right here. And I will be having a Trello link so that other people can see my status and see how I'm doing as a developer on the map and seeing what um, bugs and whatnot I need to fix if reported by uh, from any of the players. And then right here, this is just a small description. I'm not going to read all of it, but basically it just tells the player what to be expecting and that this map is still receiving supports and updates. And if any buddy has any suggestions or have any bugs to report, then they can come down here in the threads below and post them in there. So it's all really nice and organized. There will be a lot of users still uh, giving their feedback in the comment section, but I just wanted to add these uh, discussion threads to alleviate the uh, traffic that goes on right here. Um, and then basically this just shows, uh, tells the players how much time I've been working on it, telling them that I've worked on it for a total of seven weeks so far, and then how many hours I've spent on development. And uh, this is just the download size. I didn't put, uh, I think it's nice just putting the download size twice because 
some uh so for people who want to have maps on their servers and whatnot uh sometimes they really just want to you know they're looking for maps quickly um, they don't really want to like read a lot and whatnot so just in case i just include it twice and i still will be figuring out what the true file size is um, in case if this is not accurate in any case but I will just be double checking once I play test with my friend and right here is just a quick little story of how uh, the users I mean I'm sorry the uh, background story of the level basically a little bit of the narrative side to it and basically explaining why they're seeing what they're seeing in the level um, and then right here, it's just a little, uh, connect with me notice. Um, I will be posting my social media links right here so that people can follow me and stay connected with me through my level design journeys. And that's basically it guys. I'm already subscribed, subscribed as you can see from here to, um, test it out myself. And yeah, I think everything has went well so far. As playing from this, I did notice a few bugs in here. I've actually documented it right here. Excuse my messy desktop, um, right here. So um, there's just some AI changes that I need to make. There were some AI that were acting quite uh, obnoxious and they would like jump off instead of like pursue the player and sometimes like forget the player so i'm definitely going to be establishing um some better uh routes or just fixing the routes i already have to make sure that the ai is getting to the player no matter what um, because some of the ai would jump onto certain platforms to reach the player but then some weren't and they would just fall down which would be pretty frustrating and be a little bit too easy for the player so I would definitely be working on uh, fixing that. And uh, I definitely probably will be adding more ammo spawns just because I don't think I added enough. Um, I'll probably be adding a little bit more or just wait until users um, or players uh, see if they recommend more or less spawns uh, for ammo. And then of course having my friend uh, play test the level and see if everything works on his end. And then there was this one moment where um, so when a wave ends, um, there's going to be arrows that directs the player to the trader pod. And essentially the trader pod is where the player can grab uh, all of their weapons, can make purchases and whatnot that will help them survive. There was one direction that misled the player into, a, um, into an invisible wall that I placed. So I really don't want that to happen because I can see off the bat that would be an instant frustration for the player themselves it, because when I saw that and when I went through with that path I actually ended up missing my opportunity to reach the trader pod because of that error so I would definitely be making sure I fix that one way or another and um, that is pretty much it that's pretty much all the changes I need to make fixing the AI fixing the trader directions and then finally having my friend play test the level seeing if everything works on his end so that's basically it guys um i'm really excited i think everything's on track everything should be ready to go before um the end of the milestone which is next week so i'm quite ready and i'm quite ready to have this published uh to the public as soon as i can all right thank you for tuning in bye